Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to 2014. Welcome to my first episode of 2014. You know what? I decided, as this new year starts, I wanted to be positive for a change. I wanted to talk about a good game. Yep, a really good game. Don't worry, I'll get back to reviewing some shitty ones, but first, I wanted to talk about one of my all-time favorite games for the Atari 2600, and that, of course, would be this game here, Asteroids. As the music in the background or forefront should explain to you. Anyway, let's talk about this game, but first, a little bit of backstory on it. The game was originally designed by these two gentlemen, Ed Logg and Lyle Rains, back in the late 70s. And what they created was this game here, Asteroids. Now what you're looking at isn't the actual game itself. It's a replica, although a pretty good replica. I think that's all that matters, really. The whole object of the game is pretty simple. You control your spaceship and make sure that you don't get hit by the other little spaceship that comes by every now and then, or get hit by any of the asteroids coming at you. And this was back in the early days of video gaming, when it was all vector graphics. You know, all straight lines, no pixelation. But that having been said, let's get to the actual game review itself. Okay, and that was the backstory on Asteroids. Now, I think it's time we play this sucker. Alright, here's how the game's played. Not that you really need to describe it, but, you know, it's pretty basic. Shoot a bunch of these asteroids. Now, you can either stay put like I usually do, to avoid getting smashed by asteroids, or <clears throat> you can just move around a lot like this. But that doesn't do me a lot of good. By the way, this game came out one year before The Empire Strikes Back, so we didn't really have a template for what asteroid video games would look like, maybe. Or maybe the idea from that sequence came from this game, who knows? Okay, I can see flying around isn't doing me much good. Because I keep getting smashed by the asteroids. Oh well. See, I don't really need to comment that much on this game. It's pretty awesome. One of the best. What do you need to what do you need me to say? Ticket. See, this game is awesome. And now we try a different setting here. Let's see here. In this one, there's a couple little ships that come up, and they try to shoot you, and well, it's a play on a lot of the earlier Atari games. Alright. You see that? You know, it's been said that the odds of successfully navigating an asteroid field are approximately 3,720 to 1. Of course, some people, like myself, 
would prefer never to be told the odds. So here's to you, asteroids. 35 years later, you still rock. Anyway, next time, I'll get back to form by reviewing something really awful. But in the meantime, I just wanted to kick 2014 off on a positive note. With this game, with asteroids, why not? You know, I have such a good feeling about this year that why not play a good game? Why not review it, huh? Well, anyway, until next time, this has been the Atari guy saying, let's play some more asteroids. <laughs>